Hey, today in this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Crisis 2 demo. If you guys have play it, um, to test out the game, uh, see if you want to get Crisis 2 when it comes out, uh, March 21st. So let's get right into this. First thing you need to do is open up your internet browser. Uh, if you have internet connection, if you don't, then I don't know how you're watching this video, but um, you can either get it from from your Steam. Go here to Crisis 2 Demo. Time my info real quick. And here's the demo right here. You can check it out. Uh, if you have Flash Player installed uh, for other browsers, you can watch a video. I'm pretty sure there's a video here. If not, then there's just screenshots. You can download the demo right here in the section. And you can actually pre-purchase Crisis 2 for $59.99. Uh, here's all the information about it, too. So, yeah, if you want to get it through Steam, uh, download through Steam, and, and it'll show up in your game library and whatnot. I don't have it through Steam. I just got it right from EA, which I'm going to show you now how to do that. Because my Steam version was messing up. It failed to launch interface. So I'm just like, I'm going to get it from EA. And I just added the uh, EXE to my Steam library so I can still have the Steam overlay in game. But uh, next thing you want to do is go to EA.com. I'll put uh, the link in the description. It's crisis-2 uh, backslash 1 backslash demo. And... Once you come here, it will show Crisis 2 multiplayer demo for PC, Xbox, and um, there's multiple mirrors you can download it from, uh, from EA all the way to i3d.net. Um, I just download from EA. Uh, I really don't know which one is the fastest or slowest mirror for uh, download speed, but I just got it right from EA. So you click EA right here, you'll save the file, download it. I already did it, so I'm not going to do that. Next thing you want to do is go to mycrisis.net. You can either do this from the clients. Or you can come here and make an account, which you'll need to log into uh, to be able to play the demo. So type in your age, enter site. You come here, you create an account right here. You go create your information, create accounts. Once you do that, you'll be able to go into the game and you know log in, have some fun, play some Crisis too close this out um so yeah once you get it right there crisis 2 demo and also if you guys want to know where the directory is it's uh program files electronic arts crytek and then your crisis 2 i got crisis where and morris as well but crisis 2 demo bin 32 and then there's the exe now also a uh, standard issue which you know i'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that the game don't support a channel 7.1 surround sound, so you have to use six channel. Uh, if you have a you know 7.1 sound card that has the ability to do 5.1 as well, so if you have an issue where your audio isn't working at all, okay, if you have a problem where your audio isn't working, you might need to set your audio from eight channel to six channel, or you know whatever else. Now I'll show you what I did. Now I was still series seven H has a USB 7.1 virtual surround sound card and all I did was select uh, six channels at an eight channel and the description will show you uh, what each uh, channel specifies for um, now my, my one friend he has a G35 and it's not, it's not working at all since it's USB it's not I, I don't know why it's not working I'm pretty sure it's because it's just straight USB rather than 3.5 millimeter analog to a dedicated sound card or USB sound card um, but yeah if you have like a headset that's not working at all you might need either your speakers but don't fret yo don't worry it's just a demo you know it's a demo it's, it's a beta you know it's not gonna be actual release I hate the people that are constantly saying you know I hate this game there's so many glitches in it you know the, my my demo crashes you know stuff it's a demo it's a demonstration of the game to come. It's not going to be like a full game, you know. They're not going to give you everything. Everything in the demo is just at the tip of the iceberg. It's not all the weapons. It's not all the attachments. It's not all the armor modules. You do get 
um, you know, a couple game modes, you do to get a couple maps, and that's a glimpse of it, you know. It's just to kind of tease you in a way to just show you what the game is essentially going to be like. Um, now, you can get the single player, if you know what I mean, you know, download it, you know. You can get the single player, um, but... You know, I haven't played the single player yet of Crisis 2. I'm just going to wait till the game comes out. Because, you know, Crytek, you know, they deserve it. You know, I'm going to buy the game. You know, definitely. I've been a Crisis fan since 2008. Original Crisis and then Warhead and then Wars, which was the multiplayer of Warhead. And I've loved it. You know, they changed up a lot. It kind of has that Halo, Modern Warfare 2 type Call of Duty reminiscence. And I know a lot of games are taking that approach because it's, it's essentially beneficial to the, the, the developers to make a game... Um, like that, but with with Crisis emulated into a you know type of Call of Duty sense, it's it's genius. I love it. I'm I definitely like uh, Crisis too. And also for the competitive scene, if you competitive gamers out there like me, I think it could be a competitive game. I really do. Um, but yeah, download your Crisis too. Check it out. Have some fun. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Post a video response. Uh, with some gameplay and stuff. I got some gameplay on my channel, so you guys can go check that out as well. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.